Welcome children to Geography with Juliana and we are studying standard 10 Geography chapter 3 Physiography and Drainage. In the last video we completed two important physiographic divisions of Brazil and that is the highlands and the great escarpments. Today we are going to study the third physiographic division and that is the coastal region. We have studied the coastal regions of India as well. And we know that India is blessed with a huge coastline of 7,500 kilometers. I think in my last video, by mistake, I said meters instead of saying kilometers. Kindly forgive me for that. Okay, so India is blessed with eastern and coastal region of 7,500 kilometers. Brazil is blessed with 7,400 kilometers in the north and in the east okay this is the northern part because we have seen the when we saw the directions this is the northern part this is the southern part this become the eastern part and this is the western part okay and therefore it will be wrong to call this coast as southern coast it is the eastern coast so brazil has coast in the north and in the east Looking at the extent of these coasts, you will have to open to page 50, okay, where you get the uh, political map of Brazil because we are not yet familiar with all the provinces of Brazil. And therefore, we need to know the, for the extent of the northern coast. The northern coast extends from Amapá province in the west right up till here Grande de Norte in the east. Okay, this is the extent of the northeastern coast of Brazil. This coast is characterized by a number of bays. What is a bay? We do have Bay of Bengal in India. It is the narrow portion of a sea surrounded by land on three sides or a small water body surrounded by uh, land on three sides. So, uh, the northern coast of Brazil has a number of bays and a number of coastal islands. Okay, one of the bays is this one here called as the Marcos Bay. And the other bay that you see here is the Sao Marcos Bay. Now, in the Marcos Bay, this is the Marcos Bay. In the Marcos Bay, you have the largest island situated here, which is called as the Marajo Island. Now, this Marajo Island can come for location in the map. It came in 2019 question paper. Okay, it is situated in the Marcos Bay and to, on the northern coast and it is the largest uh, coast, uh, sorry, largest island in Brazil as well. Fine. Then talking about the, uh, sorry, there are many rivers, okay, before we uh, come to the eastern coast, there are many rivers which are emptying their water here in the northern coast. Many of the rivers flow northward, they meet the Amazon and ultimately they enter their water or some of them go directly into the Atlantic Ocean as well. Now, uh, there is, uh, there can be a question okay as between the mouths of which two rivers does marajo island lie for that you need to refer to your map on page 20 okay and can you read the two rivers and let me know quickly yes it is situated between the river i'll have to give you a map again here okay it is it, uh, the marajo island is situated between the mouths of amazon river and the second one is Aragüe River. Okay, you also have two canteens. If you look closely at page 20, I want you to look at page 20 because the color is merging with orange here and you cannot see it so clearly. Okay, so the marker is not very clear. But you can see in the on page 20, it is between, Marajo Island is situated between the river that is Amazon in, and river Aragüe. Two canteens is also not wrong, but two canteens is more of a tributary of river Aragüe. So it's more appropriate to say it lies between Amazon and Aragüe. Then to the eastern coast. Eastern coast now extends from here Grande de Norte right up to the south. 
okay it is uh, it it forms the coast of the south atlantic ocean while this is the north atlantic ocean this is the south atlantic ocean and stretches right from this part in the east right up to the south there are not many rivers that empty their water in the eastern coast with the exception of one largest river which is the sao francisco river okay so this sao francisco river can be asked as fill in the blanks also the only east major east flowing river there are plenty of small east flowing rivers but the major east flowing river is sao francisco okay then uh, so uh, it could also be asked as uh, find the odd one out if you look at page 20 there are many north flowing rivers that is aragway to canteen zing go japura madira okay and the only east flowing river is sao francisco and therefore this can be asked as find the odd one out as well then uh, we come to the next physiographic division and that is the plains okay in the beginning that is in the introduction we have studied that brazil has coastal regions mainly in the north comprising of the amazon river basin the parana paraguay river ba uh, river basin called as the pantanal wetlands and the pampas region in the south so let us study each one in detail okay these can also come as short notes okay so especially the amazon plains so the amazon plains are situated between two uh, uh, highlands that is the guana highlands here in the north and we have the brazilian highlands in the south it is formed by the amazon river system what is the slope of these plains looking at the slope of the rivers or the direction of the rivers you can find out that the northern plains are sloping towards the east okay they are broader in the west and then they become narrower especially where the two highlands are situated and then again at the mouth they become much much broader okay then uh, these uh, high these plains are highly inaccessible regions contrast to the northern plains in india okay northern plains in india are gentle plains and they are fertile plains and agriculture is the major occupation there but in brazil this is not possible the northern plains are highly inaccessible regions because they are covered by you can look here in this picture they are covered by thick dense evergreen rain forests okay so the only people who reside here are mainly the tribal people okay and agriculture cannot be practiced here because uh, the region is highly inaccessible okay and uh, they are covered by thick evergreen forests you can see here as well okay it's all around covered by thick evergreen forest then we come to the second uh re the second plains and those are called as the pantanal wetlands now pantanal wetlands are situated here in the west of brazil this could also be asked for location this also came in 2019 pantanal pantanal wetland now if you look at your maps you have this little region here like an l okay and this entire region is the pantanal wetlands formed by two major rivers the main river which forms the pantanal wetland okay is the paraguay river you can see a paraguay river flowing okay and the parana river as well so these two major rivers okay i'll show you with this line the paraguay and the parana rivers are responsible for forming these plains here which are called as the pantanal wetland these are the largest wetlands in the world not just in brazil okay and uh, these are also biodiversity zones there are variety of animals birds and plants that are situated here this region falls under mato grasso do sul okay for that you need the political map again you can refer to your um, page 50 map as well but here you find the pantanal wetlands are mainly stretching in this province here of mato grasso do sul okay so that could be asked as fill in the blanks as well uh, the the third plain regions are 
the plain situated to the south and these are called as pampas okay now pampas are normally the grasslands okay and the major cultivation there is wheat so with this we end the plain regions okay of brazil we have taken two important ones and that is the uh, coastal regions the northern and eastern coastal plains and we have also taken the plains of brazil namely the three plains that is the uh sorry the amazon river plains the pantanal these are the amazon river plains then we have taken the pantanal wetlands okay and the grasslands in the south okay and with this we end the these two physiographic divisions these are pictures of the pantanal wetlands they are filled with alligators okay and uh, snakes okay and variety of wild animals reside in this swampy wetland they are the swampy areas you can surf the net to find out more about the pantanal wetland the amazon rainforest is huge and may get all the attention but when it comes to wildlife south america's biggest biodiversity star is this pantanal wetland okay Another important fact of Pantanal wetland is they provide home for 3500 plant species, 656 bird species, 325 species of fish, 159 mammals and 53 amphibians and 98 reptiles. Great, isn't it? So you can surf the net in order you want more information and beautiful pictures of these pantanal wetlands so we stop here and we'll continue with the last physiographic division that's island in our next video till then bye bye take care and god